So I'll start this interesting little movie just with a quick view of the tractor. Hopefully I get the right angle. Uh, this is a Rhaenyra hedge trimmer mounted on the front of a little case, uh, case hydro tractor. It's just a single bar trimmer. There's a simple mount down here in the front. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, that just bolts in to the front frame. It's a three function uh, hydraulic machine. It'll go up It'll go out and it will tilt about 20 degrees top or bottom. Uh, it's got a valve assembly you can see with quite a few hoses. The control levers. When we run this we do have to have the uh, hydraulics engaged on the tractor in order to keep the circuit open. Uh, most of the small tractors you've got to have a bungee strap or something uh, because they don't actually have a detent. Uh, to lock the flow on so I'll just hop on here and get ready to run down a row I run the tractor at about 1500 rpms it doesn't really require a great deal of uh, horsepower by any means to run the sickle bar so I'm going to uh, raise this up I have this bar set in a fairly high position just because of uh, the way I try and trim out here, I'll just move this back a little bit. You can change the angle as you can see. So I want this angle right here. I'll pull my other lever up to engage the, the cutting. And then I'm ready to move off here. Uh, this is a, a two acre vineyard of La Crescent, planted in 2006. Um, it's on BSP. The posts were set at about six and a half foot uh, in height from the ground. Uh, these rows are vary anywhere from about 400 to 700 feet long as I move down the vineyard. Uh, the vineyard is on a hill that does slope, so it does make things a little more challenging when you're trimming. Uh, at the moment, I'm probably running about three and a half miles an hour. I'm very happy to say there's a very, very nice crop hanging on these vines right now. I did trim these vines about five days ago on both sides of the row. Uh, we had a fairly severe windstorm with a thunderstorm a couple days ago. Uh, did blow a lot of shoots out through the trellis on the west side, which is going to be the other side of the row as I come back. I just felt that I needed to get out and try and trim that before it becomes more of a problem. So that's why there's not much on this side. When I first came out and ran this trimmer, I didn't have the bar set up at the height that it is now, um, so consequently when I first trimmed, I was a little lower to my fruiting zone than I normally like to be. Uh, hopefully that hasn't caused me any kind of issue. It did help open up the, the grapes a little bit. So I'll just turn this off at the moment. I'll come around and I'm just going to change the pitch on this bar. Just to compensate for the angle of the hill, I just want a little less aggressive pitch. So I'll just turn my cutter back on, and I'll be able to go run up here. On a slope like this, you do have to pay a little more attention not to, uh, not to run into uh, one of the wood posts if you're trying to get in and, and really cut posts to the catch wires. So I'm still moving right along here. If this was as thick as it was uh, five days ago when I cut it, I would be going slower just to make sure that, that I got more of the growth cut off. But um, as I said, I'm just trying to trim this up a little bit here quickly today. This 
site has always seemed to be a pretty pretty healthy site uh, I guess in a normal growing season I'll probably run this hedger five times I have found over the years that with this variety certainly it's a little more prone to uh, downy mildew that's my biggest problem and the more open I can keep this canopy and the more reduced to the growth uh, the better spray I can get in inside the canopy and on the grapes and the other leaves since I've had this hedger it certainly helped me a lot uh, in uh, combating disease it makes for a lot more timely applications of uh, fungicides when I need to get out and get them on so a little accumulation is happening here usually I can kind of shake the trimmer a little bit and knock some of that off or change the angle so I think my movie's about at an end. You can see I can just drop that back down. I'm gonna come around and do another row here in a few minutes. And that should be it.